Hey everybody, I'm here today to tell you how to prevent arm pain while driving. If you're driving and you experience arm pain, wrist pain, or hand pain, this is a video for you because I'm only gonna, I'm not only gonna be telling you how to prevent it, but also how to stop it from happening. If it's already happening to you, if you're feeling the pain right now, these things will also help you get rid of it. So prevent it and get rid of it. Now let's get right to it. Tip number one is to stretch before you drive, okay? You wanna stretch your shoulders, you wanna stretch your arm joints over here, and you wanna stretch your wrists as well as your hands. Do all of this before you drive, every single time before you drive. Take 30 seconds to stretch your arms, wrists, hands, and shoulders every single time before you drive. It will greatly help loosen up the muscles and help you with your driving experience in preventing pain and also getting rid of pain that already exists. So that's tip number one. Tip number two is you wanna have the proper angle and grip on the steering wheel, okay? If you are like this or like this or like this, you're gonna experience pain. It's not a natural position. You want to have a nice loose grip in a natural position. So get your, your hands and just sort of send them to the steering wheel like this and grip. That is your natural position. Not, you know, not too curled back, not too curled forward. Just send them in your natural position just like that. And make sure that your shoulders are in a nice relaxed position. You want to get a good grip of the steering wheel, but you want to feel relaxed, okay? That is the positioning that you want. Because when you're driving, it's very rare that we drive for only 5 or 10 minutes. We're most often going to be driving for at least 20 to 30 minutes and probably more, even longer, okay? So tip number two is the steering wheel grip and the positioning of yourself as you're driving. Tip number three is avoid getting in awkward positions as you drive to reach for things. If you're trying to reach the glove compartment as you're driving and you're going like this, obviously you're going to experience some pain. If you have manual mirrors and you're trying to drive and reach for the mirror, obviously you're going to experience some pain. So instead, pull over, put the car in park, you know, you know, shut the car off if you want, remove your seatbelt, and then you can move around freely like this. You can move around freely without experiencing pain. You can even get out of the car, go to the other side, the passenger side, and then do what you need to do. So avoid getting into awkward positions. That's tip number three, okay? Tip number four is if you're going on long trips or if you're driving for long periods of time, okay, you want to stretch each hand for just a few moments. Now, while you're driving, okay, it is more safe to drive with two hands on the wheel. But if you're driving for, you know, than one hand on the wheel. But if you're driving for an hour, two hours, three hours, five hours, however long it is, then like every 30 to 40 minutes, what you want to do is you want to just get one hand on the wheel and just literally just stretch your hand and your wrist like that. Just take a few seconds, just like that. And if you don't feel comfortable doing that, then pull over and do that, okay? To make sure that you feel comfortable. So once again, it's more safe to drive with two hands on the wheel than one hand. But if you're driving for very long periods of time, you can just take a break just to just stretch your hands like that. You know, if you're sitting at a red light, you can stretch your hands just like that. Just stretch your hands and your wrists just like that, okay? Very, very quickly. And last but not least, the last tip for this video is that if you're taking long road trips, you want to pull over to stretch like every two hours maximum. So ideally you can, you should be able to pull over every hour, hour and a half to stretch. But if you have to push it to two hours, I would say two hours max. Pull over every two hours maximum. So sort of stretch your wrists and your arms and just stretch your body, get your spinal cord nice and stretched out, your back nice and stretched out and so forth. And that's basically it. I really hope that you've enjoyed this video and I really hope that these tips have helped you and will help you to not only prevent arm and hand pain while driving, but also to get rid of it if it has already started. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Let me know what your tips are for preventing arm and hand pain in this comment section of this video. And above all, please be sure to subscribe for more great car and driving videos just like this one. And that's all I have for you today. Thanks for watching.